Corona who invites you to find your beach. Five years older is Naeem Nelson. The height and the reach advantage are squarely in the favor of the 22-year-old who now trains under Virgil Hunter. They have been together for three fights, and in those three fights, all of them have been by technical knockout victory. Body else trying to get the 20th victory on his resume. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Sands Casino and Hotel here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event, live on FS1, 10 rounds in the super lightweight division. The three judges ringside arm, John McKay, Kevin Morgan, and John Pottery. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Gary Rosato. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red, white, and the blue. His professional record stands at 13 wins. One of those coming by way of knockout against three losses. Hailing from Philadelphia, PA. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Naeem the Dream Nelson. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the leopard trunks. As a professional, he is perfect. 19 bouts, 19 victories, 11 of those coming by way of KO. From San Antonio, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undefeated Mario and Nino de Oro Barrios. Okay, gentlemen, I gave you specific detailed instructions in the locker room. I'm going to tell you two things right now. Protect yourself at all times, and most importantly, obey my commands at all times. Touch clubs, bang at the bell. God bless. Mario Barrios and Naeem Nelson. Nelson having dropped three of four, now training under Zahir Justice. His new trainer, Barrios, coming off a stoppage win, a knockout victory June 11th by way of liver shot over Jose Luis Rodriguez. Barrios campaigning here at 140. This is his another opportunity. Originally he competed at 126 and 130. He was the number one contender as he was victorious over Demis Boschero but grew a couple of inches and now has the campaign at 140, Steve. That's what happens when you're young, <laughs> you know, and uh, he's still growing, you know. Um, young, undefeated, you get hungry. I mean, you're hungry in the ring and you get hungry at home. <laughs> but he's, he's not out of shape, but, you know, it's, it's just growth. And Mario Barrios, who is quick to point out about his conditioning levels, he trains at Snack Nutrition under the guidance of Victor Conti, who's a mastermind when it comes to nutrition and also helping out a combat sports athletes and athletes around the world. And Barrios feels that he's really grown into his body and into his frame and learning under Victor Conti and being able to be in that Snack Nutrition facility that's cutting edge has paid dividends for him. Yeah, and it's, and it's confidence, you know, those guys have worked with some champions, you know, other super athletes, you know, uh, and it's extra confidence too, man, you know. Well, you look at Mario Barrios working there with Snack and also under Virgil Hunter, uh, you certainly have a lot of tools to your advantage. A nice left hook there on the body by Mario Barrios. Now on the opposite side, Naeem Nelson prides himself on being almost an old school fighter, a training in the Philadelphia gyms, being a part of those quote unquote Philly gym wars. Good uppercut by Barrios. Yeah, he, uh, those Philly gym wars, man, they can, they can do two things for you. One, the negative, give you damage, or two, give you that experience and confidence. One of the stable mates for Naeem Nelson happens to beat Julian at J-Rock Williams. Julian is here ringside supporting his stable mate. Nelson's been a pro for five years. Lost to Alejandro Luna last year, and Luna is making strides in the division, and also Mickey Bay as well. But now.
Nelson and Barrios exchanging. A nice uppercut there by Mario Barrios that backed up Naeem Nelson. Naeem Nelson, man, he's a hard worker in the gym. You know, I, I know him from Philly. I've commentated a few of his fights before. He's a very hard worker, very determined, wants to be world champion, wants to be back in that prospect position, and uh, a win over Barrios will put him there. Final stage is a left hook that Good was left blocked hook. by Barrios. Or partially grazing in Barrios. And that is the end of round one. As we take a look of Naeem Nelson with his trainer, Zaire Justice. Steve Cunningham, what are your keys to victory for Naeem Nelson? Keys to victory for Nelson, as you see, uh, great, get creative. You know, he's gotta, he's gotta get, you know, make things up in there. You know, um, with Barrios having such a reach, he's gotta, he's gotta get creative. Work on the inside, you know, make it happen on the inside. Break left, break right, get on there, get in there and work. Don't get stuck in Barrios' range. Barrios is six feet tall with a very long range, very sharp jab and a sharp right hand. He's got to not stay in that range. What about for Mario Barrios says he's being led by Virgil Hunter? Barrios has to fight at his range. You know, he, he got to keep his strengths. He has to keep his strengths, fight at his range, and he's a great body puncher. Go downstairs, work the body, and listen to his corner. Listen to Virgil Hunter, one of the best boxing minds we have today. Listen to him and execute the plan. And Mario Barrios instructed to us that he sparred with Mike Dallas and Kareem Mayfield, both of them veterans that have been around the block more than once. And it has certainly helped him out in his progression. And for Mario Barrios during fighter meetings, he was instructing and vocalizing to us. Virgil tells him he works on setting up the big punches, that it is a process, and Mario has certainly grown accustomed to being able to follow that instruction. Barrios doubling up on his jab, and despite the fact that I am Nelson, of his 13 victories, only one of them by way of knockout. He hasn't picked up a, that lone knockout was back on April 4, 2012. He does have power because he can back up his opposition during points of the fight. Yeah, he's, he's pretty strong. You know, he, he, he has decent power, decent boxing ability, and he's got pretty good defense. I mean, he's blocking some of these jabs, and he's coming back with some, some hellacious shots. He says his new trainer, who's a family member that's been there with him since he was an amateur, says he believes he brought him um, extra added power. Mario Barrios threw a straight right that was above the guard of one, Naeem Nelson. Naeem Nelson, he is thriving fighting here in Pennsylvania. He's so proud of being from Philadelphia and carrying on that Philadelphia tradition. Uh, he admires so many fighters from the city of brotherly love where he resides. And you being one of them. Yeah. He just got caught with a straight right. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's funny, you know, uh, I, I meet a lot of fighters and like, man, I've been watching you, I watch you growing up and it's like, ah, I don't feel that old, but. <laughs> 41 is, 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 is up there in age as a boxer, and I, I've done some things, man. You know, I just got to realize that. Uh, 41's the new 31, and 31's the new 21, uh, not just because I'm 31. <laughs> and Naeem Nelson comes forward. Mario Barrios, he spends his training camps in the Bay Area, loves the Bay Area, but still is calling San Antonio, Texas, his home. Under 30 seconds remaining. Good attempt by Barrios with that uppercut in there, but Naeem Nelson's defense is pretty tight. An overhand right, that crack Barrios followed by a left hook. Naeem Nelson just put some good serious heat. Okay, left hook, overhand right. Down, he's not here to lay down at all. He's here to win, like you said. Final 10 seconds between Mario Barrios and Naeem Nelson. And that concludes round two. October 14th, we go coast to coast with title bouts. Carson, California, the Stub Hub Center. I cannot wait. Four-time world champion, Abner Mares, defends his 126-pound title against once-beaten Andres Gutierrez. Then, three-division champion, 
Leo, el famoso Terremoto Santa Cruz. He defends his featherweight world title against former title challenger Chris Avalos. It all starts Saturday, October 14th, 7.30 Eastern time on Fox. That's at one of my favorite venues in all of boxing, the Stub Hub Center. Expect something special, October 14th. Virgil Hunter now speaking with Mario Barrios. What do you think they are discussing, Steve? I mean, you know, Virgil, Virgil was telling him some things that, that, that look like it's getting to him. You know, you see his eyebrows raising, and he's like, he's okaying him with facial expressions. But I believe he's telling him to work on range, combinate. And we haven't really seen a body attack from Barrios yet. When he was, Mario Barrios has worked the body in his previous matchups. A paralyzing river shot sent Jose Rodriguez to the canvas, and he got the knockout win. And Barrios says, being a Mexican fighter, that he loves to attack the body. That left hook to the body, man. You get to Chavez, you got, man. Even you Fernando go. Vargas, I mean, I can go down the list, man. There's some, some, some great shots from these guys. When the two gentlemen that I just mentioned, Abner Mades, Nail Santa Cruz, they love to attack the body as well. Naeem Nelson boxing very well. He caught Barrios upstairs. Or Barrios, he's trying to cut off the ring. Barrios is posing that mental pressure. And a right hand that sends Nelson. And no, it looked, right, right. it was a slip. Let's go. Gary Rosanto ruled it a slip. Do you think it was a punch? I, I couldn't really see it. I'm not even lie. I couldn't see it. I was looking in the ring. We will go back and witness that on replay. But Barrios is keeping his distance, not rushing in. But Nelson is giving up what we like to call prime real estate as he is not controlling the center of the ring. Yeah, Barrios is turning up the, pop, the punching pile, the pop on those shots. You can hear him out here. I can't wait for the replay because I wasn't able to see the shot because the uh, rep was in my way. Barrios with a 58% knockout percentage. He has been a pro for nearly four years. But Nelson caught him over the top with a grazing right hand. For Naeem Nelson, an extensive amateur career, 70 and 10. And there's a shot that sends Nelson. And it looks like his arm. Nelson favored his arm yes. earlier in the round, even before the, uh, the slip or the knockdown, whatever it was. Seems to be bothering him. I don't know if he, it looks like his shoulder is out of place, separated shoulder. The ringside physician is checking Naeem Nelson, the five-time Philadelphia yeah, Golden punches. Gloves champion. You good? And Nelson says he's good. A little tight, good. that's all. Just he a little says, tight. That's the second time now. You want to have a nigga, Mr. Brazar? <laughs> what do you think, Doc, all right? Let's give him a shot. Okay. Give him a shot. Right. That's something, fine. All right, let's get over there. All right. So from what we hear, that was the second time. So the first time Nelson went to the canvas was due to that, his shoulder coming out of place. And it's interesting how it just kind of popped right back into place. I've never seen that. It might have, he might have got popped out and popped right back in off of a, off of a punch or just some action. But uh, that's the warrior mentality. You know, that's Philadelphia right there. We're going to fight until to the wall cave in. <laughs> Adios. Pressing forward, unleashing an uppercut. 20 seconds left, round three. This one's scheduled for 10. Bring them up, Mark. Don't Bring forget, up. join us in the social media conversation, PBC on FS1 again. On social media, use the hashtag PBC on FS1. Final moments of round three. You got 10 seconds for the bell. No punching after the bell. Round three in the books. We'll come back with round four. You're watching PBC on FS1. I'm going to let you go. You drop over again, I'm going to stop. It won't happen. All right. All right. The ringside position told Naeem Nelson, if you drop to your knees again, I'm going to stop it. They asked him why he dropped to his knees the first time. He said maybe a cramp or something in his legs. Even if he is in a ton of pain, he's not showing any signs of that, is Naeem Nelson. 
Warriors, man. Warriors fight on, you know. Philadelphia. Bring, up. Bring the punches up. He prides himself on being a Philadelphia fighter, and we're seeing that pride right here. Even injured, he's continuing on and trying to do his thing. When Nelson threw a left hook, he was, you saw pain in his face. So he's clearly being bothered by that left shoulder, but he's continuing to bite down on the mouthpiece and continue. I wonder if Barrios knows that Nelson is in pain. He's got to know, but I, I'm, you know, stick to the same game plan that you had coming in. I, I haven't seen, there's a jab from uh, Naeem Nelson. I was trying to see if he was going to throw the left. It wasn't even a sharp one. He's launching that right hand, though. He's so got I believe, a very tight guard, does Naeem Nelson. Yeah, you better with a guy like Barrios. He's going to stick you with that jab all night. Barrios told us he wants to have one more fight this year. He is 2-0 this year, all of them by stoppage. Yeah, Naeem's using his right hand stronger and more than he is his left. Um, he's favoring it much more, but again, Warriors make it happen. And Naeem Nelson, a sparring partner for Julian Williams. He connected with the right cross. But Barrios continues to cut off the ring. Haven't seen, uh, you know, a body attack by Barrios, you know, uh, as of yet. But uh, I mean, not, you know, that it goes to show you that Naeem Nelson, you know, he's a he's a threat, you know. Under a minute remaining, round four. Mario Barrios. His eyes, this 20th victory, if he's successful, will lead him to bigger marquee fights. I like the way Barrios is being smart and calculated. Even though, you know, he sees an opponent isn't 100, he's still dangerous. He's being smart. He's staying behind his jab. He's listening to his corner, and uh, he's, just, he's trying to make it happen smartly. Barrios is cutting off the ring. It's that forward mental pressure, as you have described, Steve. That's added mental pressure. You know, that'll break you down mentally. The guy's just in front of you no matter what. He's just there. <laughs> He's for the bell. Near the end of round four, Nelson has had glimpses, but it has been Mario Barrios who's been controlling the action. Trying to adjust literally on the fly, knowing your body isn't reacting to the way your mind is thinking. I mean, you, you have to work with what you have, you know? Uh, you know you want to make the kitchen table and you only got a screwdriver, you don't have the hammer and nails. You just got to do what you got to do. Kids got to eat. <laughs> and on the opposite side, if you're Mario Barrios, you are human, yes, but your job is to go out there and get the victory and hurt your opponent. Do you show any compassion or indirectly show compassion for your opponent? Nah, we show compassion after, after the fight. We, we continue, we do our job. You know, his job is to go in and beat Naeem Nelson. Nelson's now. job is to beat Barrios. That's what we do. And a left hook to the body by Mario Barrios. He is going back to that body attack. Upstairs and Mario Barrios is remaining stalking Naeem Nelson. Nelson's work rate has dropped, and I don't think that is just by sheer coincidence. No, it's not. I mean, and he's really he's really going forward with that right hand. You know, he's putting everything on it when he launches it. A right hand that stuns Naeem Nelson, showcasing that power that Barrios has been showcasing in his last few matchups. Nelson walked right into a big right hand, and Barrio set it up beautifully. And Barrios has more urgency, and he comes forward again, blasting Naeem Nelson. Barrios is cutting off that ring. He has that left foot on the inside of the left foot of Naeem Nelson. Nice try from Nelson with that overhand. 
he's, 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 he's getting creative, I guess. <laughs> he's using one of my keys to victory. <laughs> he's getting creative, you know, he's got one arm, so he's, he's really trying to use it. Sometimes when the deep ball isn't working, you have to go back to, to the West Coast offense, those dink and dunk passes to drive down the field. At the end of the day, the goal remains the same to put it into the end zone. Yes. Closing moments of round 10. Got 10, let's turn the bell. Adio Barrios and Naeem Nelson battling here in the super lightweight division. We'll come back with more of PBC on FS1. Welcome back to Bethlehem. We have all seen the devastating effects of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, and boxing is taking a stance in fighting the fight with the hurricane victims. And former welterweight world champ Andre Berto is a prime example. Texas was good, man. You know, I had doing a lot of moving and shaking. Make sure everything get done. Appreciate it. I'm grateful to be able to help the people out here. Everybody coming together for the city. Uh, you know, much love to everybody back home in Florida. Hopefully this hurricane don't smash. We out here working, man. Whatever you want. We got pampers, we got food, we got water, we got formula for the babies. Whatever you need, man. Whatever you need, we got it. To help those affected by Hurricane Harvey and Irma, visit redcross.org or text Red Cross to 90999 to make a $10 donation. Ray, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan. Our thoughts and prayers are all those affected by Hurricane Harvey and Irma. Also, the earthquake that shook up central Mexico with many that are affected. Our thoughts and prayers with all those in Hurricane Harvey, Irma, and the earthquake in Mexico. Back here to live action. Round six scheduled for 10. Mario Barrios continues to stalk Naeem Nelson. Mario Barrios continues with his ability to cut off the ring and he connected with a straight right, followed by a left hook. And Barrios' punch output is increasing. And here is how Steve Cunningham has the fight scored 49 46. The only round in favor of Naeem Nelson was the second. And Barrios is really picking up and sitting down on his punches. Yeah, I mean, you know, Nelson's obviously injured, but, you know, he's, he's trying to work with what he has. Uh, Barrios, like you said, he's turning up, uh, he's warming up, he's, you know, the jab, uh, he's, he's throwing good uppercuts, he's trying to make it happen. Naeem Nelson is not just a full-time fighter, he is involved in the family insurance business, he sells insurance, and thankfully he has insurance because he's going to have that left shoulder looked at. He's a good right-hand counter from Naeem Nelson. He finds a home for that every here and there, you know. Uh, I just like to see a little more output with it. Good shot. Literally on cue, he snuck in a right, straight right hand. And Barrios. For Mario Barrios, though, to fight a Philadelphia fighter in the state of PA, he said this is going to be a sweet victory if he's successful to defeat a Philadelphia fighter here in the great state of Pennsylvania. Well, Nelson said they picked the wrong opponent. <laughs> you know, uh, he feels he's um, he's going to beat Barrios, and uh, he's, he's putting his best foot forward here. I would love to see him fight him with both arms. You know, it would be a, even more competitive than it even is now. Well, even though the left shoulder isn't reacting well tonight, Nelson, he's throwing out his jab more and is adjusting. He's getting creative in there. 10 seconds. And the thing about Barrios, he's not getting too overly aggressive to leave himself exposed as we end the round. We'll send it over to the third member of our broadcast team once again. Here's Jordan Hardy. Ray, thank you. I was just over in the corner of Mario Barrios, and I heard Virgil Hunter say, hey, 
Nelson is fighting at home. Don't forget that. So we got to pick it up when we'll style points and finish him off if we can. He's also reminding Barrios that when he sees, sees Nelson with his hands up to send a quick jab and then a right hand to the body. So we'll see, we'll see if he implements that in this upcoming round. Ray, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan. And based on what Virgil Hunter told Mario Barrios, they want to bring an end to this fight rather abruptly. There you see Virgil Hunter in the court of Mario Barrios. He has been in the likes of Andre Ward, Amir Khan, Andre Berto Abner as well. So no shortage whatsoever of talent in Virgil Hunter's domain there in the Bay Area. Robin. On seven, scheduled Bob. for a ten. Bob. Ray Flores, Steve Cunningham, the Cruiserweight champion Bob, of the world. Jordan Hardy, don't forget to join us in the conversation on social media. Use the hashtag BBC on FS1. Next Tuesday, we return with Toe to Toe Tuesdays in Las Vegas. Let Juan Bartholomew in our main event. What have you seen that has impressed you, Steve, from Mario Barrios? I mean, really, him being this young and it, with his with his composure, you know, even though, like I said, he knows he has a, a wounded opponent in front of him, he's not going all out, exposing himself. He's staying, sticking to the game plan, listening to his uh, corner, and he's executing. You know, um, Virgil said we're we're in, they're in Philly, you know, so Virgil's. He's, he's, he's planning for a possible, you know, home-cooked decision. But, you know, Barrios is just going to work. But it's the same skills pay the bills, and Mario Barrios has an abundance of that. Yes, he does. I mean, you can see the skill set, man. You, you can see glimpses of, of Andre Ward in there in the stance, in the jab, the way he jabs. Because, you know, he's around these guys. He trains with Ward. You know, uh, that's Ward's trainer he's with, or, or his trainer now <laughs> also. But, uh... You know, it's a great thing to be in the gym with guys that, that have done it and that are doing it. A right hand that drives Nelson against the ropes for a brief moment. And a left hook and down goes Nelson. And that is likely the end of the fight. And Nelson is in a ton of pain. I'm good. I'm good. Check him Gary out. Rosato Stay there. is going to, and the left arm, the shoulder, is clearly out of place. Uh, that's a, I think that's enough. You're, that's enough, champ. That's enough. We're done. That's it. No. Fight's no. over. And the fight oh. has been waved off. Naeem Nelson visibly disappointed. Mario Barrios gets the victory by technical knockout. He so fought as good off. as he could. He better get it taken care of now. Gary Rosato, very implicit to Naim Nelson, telling him you better get that looked at now. The shoulder failed, but Mario Barrios should get all the credit in the world for going out and looking impressive. You see here, Barrios, I think he, he hit the arm. Okay, his arm, he overextended his arm on Barrios' uh, left. His arm was injured from the beginning, man, and uh, he, he tried to work through it, but you know, hats off to uh, Naeem Nelson, but uh, when he throws the hook, they had to stop this. We will, we will come back and get the official particulars as Mario Barrios, four straight wins by stoppage. So Mario Barrios obtains his Fourth straight victory by stoppage. He is now 20 and 0. Naeem Nelson fought his heart out, but Mario Barrios tonight looked very impressive in the process, Steve. Yeah, I was impressed with Barrios. Uh, I'm impressed with his uh, composure. You know, like I said, he had, a, he had a wounded opponent in there. He knew it, we all knew it, but he still stuck to his plan. You know, he stuck behind his jab, and uh, you know, Naeem couldn't continue. Um, hat goes off to Nelson. You know, Philadelphia Warrior, that heart came out. He, continued, he wanted to continue with one arm, but they had to stop it. We don't want further injury.